At Techland, we know quite a bit about making zombie games, but for Dying Light, we knew we had to go with something special. That is why we hired Steve, our expert. Steve, pick up the phone, dude. Ah, oh, wait. Steve, just go take a lunch break. Well, when we put an advert for a zombie consultant, we weren't sure if we ever find a good candidate. There are just so few zombies out there with necessary experience. But Steve's resume really stood out. As soon as we met him, we knew he was perfect for this job. Steve helped us at every stage of development. He was our model and inspiration. He let us take a really good and close look at himself. Thanks to him, we could create the most realistic zombies ever. To make our game more real, we use the scanning technology. It allows us to copy any object and then put it in our game. We're not limited to things like boxes or weapons. We can also scan faces and then recreate them down to the smallest details. When you make a game like Dying Light, you have to know practically everything about all kinds of zombies that have appeared in pop culture. But working with Steve, that was something else. <laughs> for mock-up sessions, we invite truly amazing actors, but Steve, he set a new standard for our animations and helped us design all types of zombies in our game. Actually, it's because of Steve that we have zombies that are active only at night. When we saw how fast and effective Steve is when the night falls, it gave us the idea for Volatiles, our special night zombies. At Techland, we make our sound effects from scratch. That's why Steve's contribution was so important to us. Yeah, so not everything was, you know, smooth sailing working with Steve. He is a zombie after all. Uh, the biting, that's the first thing that really gets annoying very, very quickly. He also gets distracted by like the weirdest little things. Uh, and then on a hot day, you know, that, that's when the smell really hits you. Oh, the smell. I wish you could smell. Overall though, Steve is a big part of the team. He hangs out with us, he does activities with us, plays, uh, we really got to love him heaps. He really became a big part of our family. Stinking, rotten piece of our family. Yeah, it's the biting. The biting is the main issue, as you can hear. Uh, he hasn't killed anyone yet, which is, you know, always good. He hasn't actually killed anyone yet, right? Can't say that. Thanks to people like Steve, you will soon experience the next gen of zombie games.